This time, I guess I want to I wanna talk about um, uh, what we call when a baby is born. My mother and my grandma did a lot of talking. And they said the first one, as I tell you, as I told you this morning, that a man and a woman, when they're pregnant, are both pregnant. No hunting, no killing, no blood. Because if you hunt in the nine months, a man, and you're pregnant, whatever a man or a woman who's pregnant experiences while the baby is growing for nine months, it is spiritually and chemically do you know, let, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, did anybody here have a father and a mother? When you did something wrong, all they had to do was look at you a certain way, and they didn't have to holler at you or nothing. They just had to look at you, and you know you better not touch that thing. <laughs> That's just from a look. Do you see the power? And this is the kind of power I'm talking about in pregnancy. Your actions, the father and mother, and your experiences, the father and mother, the hot, the cold, the cry, the happiness, is all transmitted to that little tiny, uh, little tiny baby just start the, the journey. And it, it goes and transmitted through the father and through the mother. And it takes nine months of those experiences to develop that baby to get on its own. That's when the baby is born, once that's done. And, it, and it's, it depends on a good man and a good woman how they're going to develop that baby. That's why they say for nine months, Boy, that sounds good. And it sounds good in English too. It means for nine months, by golly, you better have a good mind. That's what an equivalent means to. It means that, and it's equivalent. Have a good mind. Because whatever you think and whatever you do is going to get transmitted here. So if every other word is swear word, <laughs> then you expect the little boy that's going to swear all his life. <laughs> or a little girl. And I've seen both. I've seen both. But if you're kind and compassionate and patient, that's the kind of baby that's going to be born. What you displayed in the nine months. And if you're going to, and you know another thing while I'm talking about this subject, you know where there's sometimes young girls that's teenager, like 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, when uh, they think that they know everything more than their father and more than their mother and more, more, more than their grandma. And they're not going to listen. And no matter what you tell them, they know better. And they always get in trouble. And usually it's the kind of trouble that you can't erase. <laughs> and usually that's what prevents them from really climbing the ladder. Because now it usually ends up, they're going to give birth. And that baby, you can't send it back. <laughs> and well, now I forgot why I'm saying this to you. <laughs> I had a point, but it went somewhere. <laughs> oh, so my mother used to say, your turn is coming, my son. <laughs> my daughter, your turn is coming. The more you didn't listen, the more you don't listen to me when I tell you the things of life, and the more you think you know it all, and you start disobeying and doing this and staying out half the night, and I don't know where you are, you're going to have one or two or three kids and they're going to do that to you what you did to me three times more than you did it to me. And now you're going to know. So go ahead and get as wild as you want. 
because that's what's coming to you three times as worse. She used to tell us that, my mother. And my grandmother says, that's right. That's true. And that's what I like to now say to everybody too. Because that's really the truth. It's really the truth. And I don't want nobody to have a hard time. So to all the young people, please reconsider. If you haven't gone there yet, don't go there. <laughs> it's too hard work. And there's too many lives involved. Too many life involved. 